Hey guys, it's Bren, and I'm here with a January empties video. Um, I don't always do an empties video, and for December, I just had so few, I just did an Instagram post, but I went through a lot this month, so I decided to go ahead and do a video. Um, I have eight three weeks that I went through and then some miscellaneous stuff. So I'll tell you about each one and how they perform to the end. Um, first, I used up Wine Down. Now, this was from the Glittery Lid Collection, not this past holiday season, but the one before that. And it was very similar to, for me, very similar to the Paris from this past season's glittery lid collection and for that reason I decided I could go ahead and say goodbye to this I didn't need to hang on to it this is also the same as sun drenched vineyard so you know why not use it up I could get another one I will definitely be saving this jar and using it for something I don't always save the jars because some, I would have so many I have nothing to do with them but the really pretty ones like this I will surely save um, I'll put it on a candle melter get the bottom you know, cleaned out and everything. And I did a video actually way back when I started this channel on how I cleaned the candle jars. So anyway, used that up. Um, this was a strong, you know, candle all the way to the end. And I had really no complaints about it. I think it was a little bit of puny wicks towards the bottom, but not bad. Not too much to say there. Um, I'll spend a little more time talking about the newer candles that I've used up. So I used up my first blueberries and cream, and I've got one more. And, you know, I got one for my mom, but she's decided she doesn't like it because she thinks there's too much vanilla in it. I've heard some people don't like it because they think it smells really artificial. Um, I had said in my solo review of this, which is up if you're interested, that it really reminds me a lot of the berry vanilla body care. And it's not really blueberry to me. It's just berry in general. It really could be any type of berry. I think they were smart to market it as blueberry because that's like, oh, blueberry, that's so cool. But yeah, it doesn't smell more like blueberry than any other type of berry. But what I will say about this candle is it performed strong to the end. It threw to the very end. It didn't get like a sour or smoky note to it towards the end. A lot of the BBW candles, candles you can almost expect in the last like quarter, they're going to kind of not smell as strong and maybe start to smell a little... Um, burnt or something. But this one, honestly, until it put itself out, it was still really good. And so if you do like the scent, then it's a good one to buy and stock up on. It was a good version. So there's that. Um, I also used an Island Margarita, last year's version. But man, oh man, this is to me one of their greatest scents. I mean, I think out of all of the scents that are their standard core scents that always return, this is like my favorite. It's a crowd pleaser. Everybody loves this. It's so strong and it's good. It's delicious. It's really, really yummy. If you have never tried Island Margarita, then you should get it. I mean, I love the wallflowers in it too. The soap is amazing. I really want to see it in body care or you know what would be even just about as cool is if they had it in one of the little creams because they have it in soap, you know, like Bath Body Works. Do Island Margarita in a little hand cream. I would buy a case of them. I would buy three cases. I love everything about this scent. Again, if you haven't bought one, this year's version looks different in the Fiesta collection, but get it. It's got to be good. That, that one's always good. And um, as far as this version goes, it also burned good to the end and smelled strong to the end. I also used up a coconut leaves. This one was almost gone, but then I just couldn't bring myself to use it up like in the fall because it's just so out of season. But coconut leaves is a scent that I really like to burn in January when I'm wishing that I were on a beach. Today, there's freezing rain all day long, just ice falling from the sky. It's disgusting out. It's horrible. But inside, <laughs> I can have my coconut leaves and my island margarita and, you know, think about Cancun or whatever. Um, but this one did not come out with the sp new spring line in January. However, we know it's going to come out, at least it's been testing, so it'll probably come out in a lidless decorated glass collection, kind of like the ones they did at Thanksgiving that were a slightly higher priced. So if you need a, oops, sorry, if you need a coconut leaves, uh, wait for it, it'll come out. This one had bad puny wicks though, I will say, towards the very end. It got really difficult to burn and pull out and it did turn grayish. It's hard to see on the camera, but you know, it stopped being bright white. Um, but I still recommend this candle overall and I really like the wallflowers in this too. Those I don't know if they'll bring back this year, but I hope that they do because I wouldn't mind getting a few more of those. The room spray and coconut leaves is also really good. Um, sorry, I've got things going off all over the place here. <laughs> um, I also used up 
a sweet shop cinnamon sugar donut. I had been hanging on to this forever. Um, so many people love the scent. I am like, I like it. I don't love it to me. Like cinnamon is just kind of eh for me, you know? This is a good one though. It smells more like cinnamon toast to me than like necessarily donut. But um, I was in the mood for it. And then I ended up just like, I had like this much left. I ended up just pew, the whole thing this month. Um, it is good for this time of year if you're not ready for the tropical stuff, but you are ready to say goodbye to the holiday stuff. Um, and it performed well to the end. Now people debate the different versions of this candle and if they all smell the same or not. And I'm hearing that the sweet shop version is one of the best versions, but that the cinnamon spiced vanilla in the Fiesta collection is more like the sweet shop version of cinnamon sugar donut than the current cinnamon sugar donut that's out that's in this collection. So it might be better to pick up the cinnamon spice vanilla if you like the scent. Oh my God, that's like another seven. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna turn my phone and vibrate here. Okay, so I used that up and uh, then I also used a Georgia peach from, this was the first time it was called Georgia peach instead of market peach uh, in the Southern type of collection. This is one of my favorite candles though, market peach always was. Um, this one didn't perform as well as previous versions when they were called market peach, but I think I do like the name Georgia peach a little bit better so I can understand why they're sticking with that. Um, I do recommend this scent a lot. Probably don't worry about getting this version though because it wasn't that great, but it's out in two different versions now. It's in the core collection and it's again it's in this collection so um <laughs> go ahead and uh grab one of the newer versions if you're interested it smells really good like really authentic peach that's what I've always liked about this scent I don't really like peach bellini it's too sweet for me this is more realistic it's a little tart and I really like it then I used up a red guava lava from the Hawaiian collection like two times ago, um, not last summer's, the one before that. This was repackaged as Rio Red Guava in last, like January's Brazilian collection. But before that it was Red Guava Lava. This one hasn't come back yet since the Brazil collection, um, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did. And what I really liked about this candle was that it smells like red Kool-Aid, which is actually kind of a cool smell to have your house smelling like, I think. So I enjoyed the scent of it, but I have to tell you, this has been the queen of puny wicks. This candle has been the worst puny wick, but it is funny to me. I had it burning one day and Josh, he's been around me enough. He's starting to learn the lingua, lingo now uh, that he went over to the candle and he said, oh man, this is the worst case of puny wicks I've ever seen. And it is. I mean, this performed pitifully. Many, many cotton balls. I don't know if the Brazilian version performed better, but hopefully if they do ever bring it back in the future, it'll perform better. But I liked the scent of it. And then the final three wick, <sighs> this one, um, I burned purposely when Roxy passed away, coral seashell. And I burned this um, in the days after that because I have really strong like scent association or scent emotion correlation. I don't know exactly what you want to call it, scent memory. But if something, if I'm having a certain smell around me when something happens, I could be five years from them then and smell that smell and like it just takes me back. And when I was, the, the biggest example I can think of this is when I was in ninth grade, my very first boyfriend ever broke up with me, right? And I was devastated. This was the end of the world. It was horrible. And at that time, the lip smacker in my current rotation was a mint chip lip smacker. And from then on, I mean, whenever I smelled anything that smelled like a lip, like a mint chip lip smacker, I just immediately got really, really sad. And I didn't give a crap about this guy anymore. Um, I certainly don't now. But if I smelled a mint chip lip smacker right now, I would probably get like a feeling of sadness. Um, I've had this happen more recently with candles. I went through a bad breakup when I was burning. Um, the, there was like a fresh pick clementines or something from 2013 winter. And then like over a year later, and I was so over that breakup, but I lit that candle and I was just kind of like made me sad because my brain associates scent with the emotion that I was feeling when I was smelling that scent. So 
I didn't want to, after Roxy died, burn a candle that I loved because I didn't want to always associate that candle with sadness. So I picked Coral Seashell because I don't really like it and don't care about it. Um, I don't hate it. Uh, I wouldn't burn a candle that I hated, but it's like, it was very meh for me. So I was like, okay, this is a good time to kind of use this up, get it off my shelf, clear out some space on something that I don't really care about. It smelled very much just like a orange candle, but then it had this herbal note that to me almost made it smell a little cheesy. Like there was like a little bit of blue cheese or something with the orange. It's mainly just an orange candle though. So it wasn't horrible, but something that I don't really care about, something that probably won't ever come back. Um, this was a White Barn exclusive in this line actually. And in, in the same line was like Summer Boardwalk and Summer Bonfire and some other Nantucket sale. Um, but yeah, this was a White Barn exclusive. I don't think it sold very well. You're not missing out on anything though, but that's why I used this one up that month. So, oh yeah, but there is one thing I wanted to tell you guys about this candle that was weird was that I was burning this the night that I posted my light a candle for Roxy video and everyone was lighting candles for Roxy, which was again, so nice. Um, and I had it going and it was almost gone and I think I was ready to go to bed and one of the wicks had already gone out. So I just left it. I wouldn't recommend doing that normally. Um, but Bath Body Works candles usually just put themselves out. And again, since one wick was already gone, usually the others follow really soon. And typically, like here's another one where the wick's just, uh, the candle just went out on its own. And you know, you can kind of see on this coconut leaves that like this one lasted a little longer because the wax is a little deeper there. But this is pretty typical for when you let them go out on their own. I have never seen this before. But that night, one of these wicks must have hung on for a long time because you can see two of them went out, probably pretty near each other. But then this one just kept hanging on and hanging on. I don't know how long because like I said, I was sleeping, but it reached the waxes at the bottom here. Never have I seen that. They always go out when there's still some left. So my light a candle for Roxy candle burned for a very long time, all night long maybe. All right, and then three wallflowers. Um, da -da. These were just leftover winter ones that were kind of just, you know, I just used them up in January. A marshmallow fireside, always a good one though. A frosted cranberry, also always a good one. And this one really I can enjoy year round. It's just a nice berry scent. And then just today, now there's a little bit left in this because I unplugged it right before the video, but when they get down this low, there's just not much left coming out of it and I couldn't really smell it anymore. Um, but this was really good when I first put it in. I put this in when I took out my Christmas ones after Christmas. So after about a month, you know, there's a little bit, a little bit left. Um, this is the Love Wallflower from last year um, around Valentine's Day. They had a collection that had like home and relax and stuff like that and smile and then they had love and then they had special sales on that love candle right around valentine's day and the love candle is actually a repackage here it is of tokyo petals right and then now they've brought the candle back again this year for valentine's day also called again love and it's red but it's in this kind of packaging it also i've heard is you know tokyo petals and when i've read the notes that's it makes sense to me that it seems like tokyo petals again and i don't really love this scent in the candle so much because when you burn it it's really weak but i really enjoy it in the wallflower and i think it's a really nice crowd pleasing scent or it's very like non-offensive. It's just subtle and good in the background. And I have no idea if, even though they brought the candle back this year, they're going to do a matching wallflower. If they did, I would pick up more. If they don't, it's not a huge deal, but I did really enjoy this one. So that was uh, it for wallflowers. And then just a couple of random other things in a small travel size endless weekend. This scent is just okay to me, but I like the shower gel a lot more than the lotion. I find that Bath and Body Works a lot of times in the matching scents, um, the shower gel is a lot fresher and cleaner. And then the lotions can be really overly perfumey or musky. And that's how I feel about endless weekend. So I really don't like the lotion. The shower gel is all right. Uh, I used up a wild berry blossom soap. This was great. I loved this and I loved that it was a pretty blue color as well. Uh, hasn't come back. Uh, if it did, I would get more. I really liked it. 
kind of a blue raspberry type of thing. And then I use up two little hand creams. So a frosted cranberry hand cream, again, just a great scent. And then Island White Pineapple, which I'm kind of over this. I don't really like melon. There's melon in with the pineapple, so I'm, you know, glad to have used this up. But I will say that they need to come out with more of these, Island Margarita. Um, but I love these. I use them all the time. They're great in my purse. I don't really like having the lotions to put on my hands. You know, these do a much better job. Uh, but there's just such a limited selection of scents in these. And there's nothing out even right now at all that really appeals to me in the little hand creams. So I hope they come out with more of those soon. All right. <sighs> That's it. Those are all my empties for January. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will be back with, yes, I know, the About Me tag, Sean. I have to do it. Um, it's on my agenda. And then I also have my spring wallflower review almost ready to go. I'm testing out all those new wallflowers in all the different rooms in my house and all the different plugs that I have. So I will be back with that. Um, I'll see you guys again soon. You can follow me on Instagram in the meantime at Candles and Music.